hello friends my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel graphics then so in this video in Adobe Illustrator we are going to see some or rather three lesser known properties so let's begin so first of all I will draw a rectangle now we all know that using the selection tool we can round the corners like this and if you want a particular individual corner you can simply click on that particular anchor point and you can round the corner like this this is not a big deal you already may know this but if you click on this particular point anchor point you will get this panel using this panel we can actually change the type of the corner that we want so if you don't want a round corner you can select a couple of more options from this menu or panel for example if I click on this inverted round uh, first I will increase the roundness a little bit and then I will double click on this so if I click on this inverted round so this will become something like this and if I change the value again it will act or it will display something like this so this is another option and I will again double click over here first click drag again double click and if I choose the last option that is chamfer so it will it will be displayed something like this so there are a couple of more options if you double click on the anchor point so quite useful you can try it out for sure now again for the this was the first property and for the second property I will draw a circle using the ellipse tool now uh, for this particular property I will turn off the fill color and I will apply a gradient color to the stroke and I will increase the stroke width so that or the value so that you will see the stroke clearly like this now many people know that you can apply or change colors using the gradient tool but we have some more options in us uh, particularly for stroke if you apply stroke apply gradient to the stroke we have these values this is the default value which is gradient within the stroke which is the default uh, presently you are seeing this is the default value there is a second value called as gradient along stroke so this is how it will look I will change the color scheme so that you will see clearly so this is how it will look so this is the second option which is gradient along stroke so this is how it will look there is another called as gradient across stroke so it will look something like this so if you change the colors I will remove this point and I will change the color so you will understand so this is how it will look so these are quite useful properties a couple of them apply gradient along stroke and the apply gradient across stroke property so do try this out pretty cool now moving on to the third property I will again draw a circle and I will turn off the field rather turn off the stroke color and I will apply a single color now uh, by default a circle has four anchor point points as you can see and if I go to object and path I can increase the anchor points like this I will uh, apply this particular property one more time so as you can see the anchor points have increased so now using from the effect menu the pucker and bloat option right here I can simply slide this slider and change the or obtain a particular size a particular shape rather like this so you can get num numerous shapes using this particular sl slider now if I take another shape for instance I will take this polygonal tool and I'll draw, draw a hexagon now if I add the same option or the property apply the same property like this at anchor 
now you can see these anchor points have been added again i'll go to effect distort and transform pucker and bloat and i will again change like this so you can easily obtain some interesting shapes only using the add anchor point option on the various shapes so this is how it will look so these are the three properties which you may not know so do try these properties out and create some cool designs so that's it for this video if you like the video please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one bye bye and cheers